Right, it's Easter Sunday. We haven't been out at all <laughs> today. I'm only in the garden to do an Easter egg uh, hunt type thing. Uh, but we're going to go out and do this little test now. See what difference the antennas make on some of these radios. If people have asked the question, so uh, I thought we'd go out to site and uh, we'll go out to a site just down the road and try it out and see what happens. Anyway, I've got my cameraman with me. Say hello. Hey. And uh, we'll get out to sites so about a mile away. The site we're going to is down a dip, and I've set the SDR so it. Um, I've reduced the sensitivity on the SDR because it doesn't really matter. We're not doing a range test. We just want to see the relative difference between the stock antenna, the stubby antenna, and a, a much bigger antenna with theoretically a higher gain. So, because somebody asked a question, I thought, well, let's try and get a little bit scientific and, uh, and have a go. So, next shot, you'll see us walking in a field, hopefully. Right, it's a little bit later on in the day. So things have cooled down a little bit. So we should be all right, I think. We're uh, always got a dodgy old dog muck, haven't you? Um, yeah, we're on a public footpath about a mile away from base. So we should, in theory, be okay. Uh, like I said, I've desensitized the STR a little bit. And that whacked the gain down. And uh, I've 3D printed a really nice little holder for the radios to sit in that sits on the the studied connection of the faceplate on the tripod. So that's really nice, useful little tool. So we're trying to be a bit more scientific, you see, so we can take me out of the equation. Because I've noticed sometimes on the videos, the sort of my direction, the way I'm standing, makes quite a big difference. So I thought, well, with this test, we'll fix the radios in exactly the same positions and then swap the antennas. And then we should be able to see and hear on the SDR what kind of difference that sort of makes so a bit getting a bit more scientific in my old age right we're here at the site right with this uh, sort of wooded area just here and the house is about a mile away over the other side of that wood and uh, this is the setup we've got for the antenna which is a tripod and then there is my little box that I made with a little little uh, screw thread adapter and a captive nut in there to keep it steady. And we're going to sit the radios in there, which then means we can keep the radios in the correct direction and the correct orientation, uh, trying to be a little bit more scientific if we can. So, right, let's get the first radio in, which I think we'll use the UV5R, and then we'll, we'll, we'll try the three different antennas on that. So we got the Baofeng uh, speaker mic. Had this a little while and not really sort of found a use for it. So we're going to use the speaker mic, plug it into the UV5R Plus there. I'm going to get that nice and vertical in a second. And then we're going to try it on the standard antenna. So this will be with the stock antenna back to base. And then we're going to swap the antennas over. Okay, this is G7LNK, G7LNK portable with the UV5R Plus at the first location with the stock antenna about a mile from base testing one two three four five five four three two one the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog g7 lnk portable with the uv5r plus at the first location with the stock antenna about a mile from base testing one two three four five five four three two one the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog right now we're going to try the little stubby antenna see what difference that makes okay okay with the stubby antenna now this is G7 LNK portable testing the UV5R plus with this stubby antenna on high power about a mile from base testing one two three four five five four three two one the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 5R plus with this stubby antenna on high power about a mile from base testing one two three four five five four three two one Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And this is supposed to be a much more higher gain antenna. Okay, it's, a, it's actually a copy of a, a known make, which I'm not going to mention, but I've had reasonable results with this. So let's find out if it makes any difference. Right, slight bit of a cock up there. Um, the longer antenna won't fit onto the plus. I need an adapter, which I haven't got with me. Right. Don't, we, we don't hide things on this channel. 
we've forgotten something my glasses and the adapter so we're going to go back to base but we're not going to put you through that so the click of my two fingers uh, we'll be back here with the correct equipment <laughs> we'll see you in a minute we're back right and what we decided to do because we couldn't guarantee this tripod was in the exact location we're going to do the tests again okay so we're here with the Quan Cheng and we've got uh, the stock antenna this is G7LNK portable, G7LNK portable with the Quan Sheng. Portable, G7LNK portable with the Quan Sheng with the stock antenna running approximately 10 watts, a mile from base, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, and this is the adapter I had to get. This is as best as I could do in a short notice. So it should, uh, it should give us some idea what difference this makes anyway. Right, here we go then. Still recording? Yeah. Right, here we are with the Quan Cheng with the bigger antenna. This is G7LNK portable with the Quan Cheng with the much larger antenna. G7LNK portable with the Quan Cheng with the much larger antenna. The dual band antenna, testing on 10 watts. About a mile from base behind the trees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we're here with the stubby antenna. It makes the radio a lot more pocketable, but let's see what it does to the performance. This is G7 LNK portable with the Quan Cheng with the stubby antenna, a mile from base. The antenna, a mile from base, testing roughly with about 10 watts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, I've stupidly left the... <laughs> This is the, the original antenna for the Baofeng at home, but it doesn't matter because we can use the Quan Cheng antenna. It's only like a relative reference, so it'll actually be fine. So we're going to use that, and we're going to sit that bad boy in there. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus at the location mark of a mile behind the woods. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus at the location mark of a mile behind the woods, testing with the, let's say, stock antenna, which is the Quan Cheng antenna, but it's the stock antenna, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus and the stubby antenna, testing behind the trees, 1, 2, 3, This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus and the stubby antenna testing behind the trees. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, now we've got the long antenna on the adapter. Let's try this. This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus. UV5R Plus with the higher gain long length antenna behind the woods a mile away from base. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we're going to uh, try and see if we can get into a local repeater from here. It's about seven or eight miles away, roughly. We'll give it a go. We've got the, the longer antenna. And we'll, we'll try and see if we can get in. This is G7 LNK portable, checking access. Yeah, we've got the pip. So what we could do is try a repeater a bit further away. Um, there we go. Let's try GB3VA, which is about 30 miles away. Let's see if we can get him from, from here. All right, we'll, um, we'll do a little test here, actually, a little experiment. Um, this is GB3VA, which is about 30 miles away over the hill over there. So right over the top of that hill there. So this will be interesting. This is G7 LNK portable checking access into GB3VA. Yeah, we've got the pips. So that's good. What we do is... There you go. Yeah, that's about... Yeah, it's not bad at all. We'll try that with the stubby. See if we can get him with the stubby on. Right, we've got the stubby on now. Let's see if we can get into the repeater with this stubby fellow on. I don't know, I've not tried it, so this is, you're, with, you're running this at the same time as me, so let's see. 
This is G7 LNK portable checking access into GB3VA. Nah, nothing heard there is the guys. I'll try one more time. This is G7 LNK portable checking access into GB3VA. Nah. Okay, let's try the stock antenna. Right, we've got the uh, the stock antenna in there, or the, the stock antenna for the Quancheng. I imagine the Quancheng bet antenna is a lot better than the um, original UV5R Plus one. Well, let's try GB3VA. This is G7LNK portable checking access into GB3VA. Ah, there you see. So that longer antenna has definitely made a difference. We're not getting into the repeater now. Let's try it one more time. This is G7 LNK portable checking access into GB3 VA. Yeah, not working is it? So, let's just check the last time, make sure it wasn't a fluke. Let's put in the longer antenna. This is the longer one. It's one of these diamond copies, I think, this one. It wasn't very expensive anyway, but as you can see, if you're prepared to put up with the extra size, it certainly does give you more range, guys. Let's try it one more time. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable, checking access into GB3VA. There we go. Let's see if we can get someone to give us a radio check. Just wondering if anyone's monitoring GB3VA who can give me a quick radio check, please. See if anyone comes back. They're all scrambling for the microphone. <laughs> yeah, G4 R W I station check and access. Uh, yeah, you're getting in. A little bit of noise, but other than that, uh, all is good. G4 R W I. G4 R W I G7 L N K portable returning. Many thanks for that. I'm just uh, conducting a little bit of radio tests while out on my hourly exercise here with my boy and uh, I'm about 30 miles away from the repeater the other side of Banbury in North Oxfordshire on some slightly elevated ground. I just wanted to check if I was getting in okay. I, I, uh, I appreciate you coming back. It's nice to hear somebody uh, on the repeater. Um, I won't hold it with you, but um, thanks for coming back to me from G7 LNK Portable. Many thanks, that's absolutely superb. I really appreciate you coming back, that's great. And uh, we'll pack up and get on with our walk. It's, uh, it's funny, people tend to look at you a bit uh, a bit strange these days if you stop anywhere, don't they? <laughs> okay, thanks again. This is G7 LNK, portable off and clear, thank you. Right, well, I think that really proves it, guys, really, doesn't it? I mean, um, I'm not really giving it much thought, to be honest, over, I mean, I know you get a bit of extra gain out of these longer antennas, um, I, I've always known that the stubby antennas really knock the signal down, but um, I was quietly surprised by that. I mean, I have used it um, a couple of times down on the south coast and I've not really had much joy, but um, in these conditions, it's certainly making a big difference. I mean, that is the difference, literally the difference between me making it into the repeater quite well and with the standard antenna not making it in at all. Now, I know the stock antennas are pretty awful, um, so the, one of the best upgrades guys you can do with your uh, handheld radio if you do want a bit of extra range with them is not to worry about what's the most powerful out there which is you know it is a, it is a concern if you do want a bit of extra range but really it's to get a decent antenna uh, fitted to the radio. Somebody asked in the, the comments about this so I thought well let's get out and, and test it out so um, I think that's uh, kind of worked. Anyway, um, I'm going to sign and we're going to go off and enjoy the rest of our Easter Sunday. Uh, if you have been, thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, I think Tyler's probably got something to say if he walks around the other side of me. So we'll get Tyler on camera and he's been very useful. He's been very useful today. He's been, uh, he's been helping lug all the equipment about, the extra tripod and stuff. And uh, I think he was quite impressed with my little uh, box I made. I couldn't use gaffer tape, guys. It's not me. I don't do things like that. Anyway, Tyler. You've got to say, what is it? Like, subscribe, hit the bell and stay safe. 
That's it. And what's the final thing we normally say? Two numbers together? 73. <laughs> okay. Cheers then, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.